Good morning, everybody. My name is Tony Roten. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for listening to this and watching this video. This video is so important because every time I've shot it now, I'm on the third take and it's been one technical problem after another after another. And I had just finished listening to my mentor, Kirk Duncan, who said, anytime you're about to share something that's very important, everything will try to stop it. So obviously, this message is extremely important, <laughs> and I hope you enjoy it. My daughter and I just got back from a softball tournament in Colorado. And while we were in Colorado, one thing that I noticed with every parent is the amount of pressure that they were putting on their children. And, you know, hey, you shouldn't have missed that. Hey, you did this and that, you know, yelling at them. You know, not in a negative way for the most part, except for one parent in particular. And this parent, the game had ended, the team had won, but the father was yelling at his daughter, yelling at her, swearing at her, being vile in his own way. Not loving, not encouraging, not supporting. Telling her things like, if you're just going to act like a fool, we're leaving. We're gone right now. If you're not going to take this, you know, I don't know what the situation was. But no matter what it was, nothing deserves to be treated like that. Especially your children. You never treat your family, friends, loved ones like that. Don't treat anybody like that. It's unkind. It is not building. It is not supporting. And if you are being treated like that, walk away. Even from your parents, if they are treating you like that, they are swearing at you and yelling at you and tearing you down, leave. You don't deserve that. You need to be cared for, loved, supported, encouraged. That's what parents are for. But there's one thing that makes me even more upset. And that was it myself. Here I have the skills, the talents, the techniques to stop this behavior and to teach them how to come together and to be able to discuss in a loving way. And I didn't do anything. And as I was driving back from Colorado, I just kept thinking over and over again, why didn't I do anything? Why didn't I step in and just bring it to his attention if nothing else? Maybe he didn't realize that he was being so vile. Maybe he didn't realize that he was being uh, verbally abusive. And I feel so bad for this young lady on this team. And hopefully this guy's watching it. I don't even know who the man was. The team was a Utah team. And so if you acted like this, hopefully you're watching this and you realize that there was damage that may have been caused. No, not may have been. There was damage that was caused. Damage to the relationship, damage to her self-esteem, damage to the whole situation, damage to her performance for the next game, damage for the trauma that she experienced. Because obviously when you're in that, you don't want to be around that. You kind of hide your face. You, you shun everybody. And I watched this girl. She went back into the dugout and she just sat down. Sat down, you could see she was crying. And I thought, man, if only the father would have handled that better. And that's what I want to share with you today. How to handle situations like that. My son was doing an interview. He, he wanted to be on this. I said, okay, let's do it. We took three takes excuse me, two takes, and then he had to go, he was going to his cousins. And so I'm going to try to put it together, but the audio is bad. It is bad, and I apologize for it, but it's worth uh, listening to. These skills, techniques that I keep sharing with you and that I've taught you in several videos, my son implemented these in his life to change his life, and he's only 11 years old. He went from stealing things to implementing a declaration so that he didn't still anymore. He went from finding being always angry to implementing a, a skill and a technique to get away from it. 
Does he do it all the time? No. Does he practice it? Yes. Is it a challenge? Yes. But in his interview, he talks about how I treat him. Now, I'm not a perfect parent. I've lost my temper with my children. I've yelled at them and told them, you know, go clean this or go do that. Or, and so I share this because what I do do still encourages and supports and loves them. And in his testimony, he shares it himself. But one of the things that is so important is if we act like that, if we lose our temper, go back and apologize. I don't care who you are. You're not above an apology. If you act like that toward your spouse, toward your children, toward a friend, toward a loved one, eat humble pie and go say sorry. It's the best thing you can do. I, I wish I would have done something. And I encourage you that when you see the situations like that, step in. Bring it to their attention. Maybe just ask the question is, hey, do you love your daughter? Daughter, do you love your dad? Well, they may say no. And you got to be kind of ready for that. And if they say no, then you say, you know what? then I want to teach you something that will help to bring your relationship together, that will help it to be strong and unified and unbreakable. And teach them these skills. But I want to just really quick, so the skills that we've been teaching you for, you know, I've done over 150 videos, so... I have to go back and look, and I'll link it into the into the uh, description and comments. But if we treat others bad, they will treat others bad most of the time. This is this is a, a generalization, but most of the time, they perpetuate the problem. It is repeated over and over and over again until somebody stops it. And there comes that point where if the person is not repeating it, then they shut down. And when they shut down, that's when they go into depress. That's when they go into depression. That's when they just get felt overwhelmed. And unfortunately, that's when they feel suicidal. We need to stop this behavior. We need to bond and build and strengthen and encourage and support. Implementing the techniques that I've taught you, the, the I am poster of declaring your identity, the severing the past negative thoughts, patterns, and beliefs, the implementation of declarations on how we want to be and who we want to be. So if we treat others good, then the same thing. That behavior is repeated. And that's what we want. We want to treat others in a loving, kind, respectful way so that that's the behavior that's repeated. That's the behavior that is being passed on from generation to generation to generation. We need to show love and kindness so our relationships are strong and they're unified. And then everybody who comes into that is strong and unified. We have a lot of family friends that come into our lives and are in these negative situations like I've described. And they come into our home and we love them and we care for them and we let them know that they're welcomed here. And a lot of them, it's hard for them to believe. And they always question it. They always question it. And that's because of this negativity that has happened repeatedly over and over and over again. Well, once we stop that cycle, then this is a cycle that happens. And we build and we increase our love 
and our support and our encouragement. If you spill this vitriol, this negative, this vile bleh, I challenge you right now to stop. Stop the negativity and start building. You'll see your life improve. You'll see your your external circumstances improve because love heals wounds. And if you've been doing this for a while, it's going to take some time, but it can still heal. You're not above an apology. Go say sorry. Let them know you care. Let them know that you're sorry for the actions that you've done. Whether you feel like you've done wrong or not, if the other person feels like you wronged them, say a sorry. It's only going to help you. Please listen to this interview with my son. Again, I apologize for the audio. I will try to do it again, but please listen to this from my son and learn some skills and techniques that he's implemented in his life, even as an 11-year-old. Now that brings me on to my son. My son has some extreme anxiety at times. And to the point we call him with sticky thoughts, where he just, something comes into mind and he just can't stop. He can't let it go. And so since he wanted to come on, I thought, hey, let's bring him on to talk about the, how I've helped him with this. What I've done and how it's made a difference in his life. So with that, I'm going to bring on my son. Come on, Levi. And he, he's doing this out of his own floor. Oh, we can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this small. I'm too small. <laughs> okay, climb up there, bud. Keep going, stand up. There we go. <laughs> so this is my son, Levi. And what, what are some of the struggles that you've had in life that I've kind of helped you with? Calling names, hitting, uh, being aggressive to my parents and to my siblings. So calling names, hitting, being aggressive to your parents. And what, what's one other one? I got another son that's trying to photobomb right now too. What? What is what, one of the other things that we worked on right now? Not right now, but what is one of the other things we worked on, especially during school time, when we were uh, having a getting more friends. a stealing issue? Oh, not stealing. Yeah, it's not stealing. stealing. Yeah. So can you tell? Look into the camera and tell them some of the things that you you've done to help you to be better. So, uh, he taught me to make my own de declaration, and I made my own declaration for not stealing. And, can I say it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. It, it's, uh, I will not steal or lie because I am a child of Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is a child of Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father never stole or lied, so I will not steal or lie. So that was his own declaration. I didn't make it up for him. I just told them to come and create a declaration that when you feel that urge to do something, that you'll be able to say this and it will stop you. Okay? So, what else? What are some of the other things, skills that you've learned? I'm going to slide over just a bit. <laughs> what are some of the other skills that you've, you've learned? Um, to just walk away from that thing. Uh, like walk away from whatever it is so that you don't get sucked into it and want it or yeah want it okay and how about before your anger and things like that what what's one of the techniques that you've um, implemented breathing uh like deep breaths and uh walking away again and 
what skill did you implement to help with your anger? What's something that when you get angry? Um, walk away and uh... Which one's been the most effective for you? Probably try to change the situation instead of like getting mad at them, like like getting mad at whoever it is. Like change the situation by be like, hey, like give them a compliment, like your shirt looks cool or something. Hmm. That's probably my first. And what about self-esteem to help you feel better about yourself? What's something that you're implementing for that? I don't know what self-esteem is. To help you feel better about yourself. Oh. Um, I wrote, uh, well, because I didn't think I have many friends, so I wrote, uh, like, kind of like a declaration, but I read it every night and try to read it every night and morning, and, um, it says, like, uh, like, it says I have lots of friends, and it says because I, and then it gives reasons about why I do, and then I name my friends, so. All right. Anything else you want to say to the world? Um, <laughs> Thanks, son. So that, that, that was his own. He wanted to come on here. I did not force prod or push him, but he wanted to share some of the things that he's implemented in his life and how it's changed. And I thought that what a great opportunity because this helps children. This will help you in your parenting. This will help you in building up your own self-esteem, your own support system so that you can handle the things that come your way. Wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. But you deserve to be treated with respect. You deserve to be treated with love, kindness, and care. Don't allow anything but that. You are amazing. Believe it. You say bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to listen this far and listening to my son's interview. I know this audio was not the best, but he explains how he's implementing these skills and these techniques that I've been sharing with you to improve his relationships, to improve his life. I encourage you to do the same thing. Please take the time right now. Analyze your, your situation. Analyze your, your relationships. Is there some of this spewing that has gone on or are you building with love and encouragement and support? And if you have done wrong, go apologize. Stop whatever you're doing right now. Pick up the phone. Call them. Apologize. If they're close enough, drive to their home. Apologize. Let them know you care and you support them and you love them and that you're sorry for the way you may have behaved. You're amazing. Believe it. Have a fantastic day.